In number theory, Waring's problem asks whether each natural number k has an associated positive integer s such that every natural number is the sum of at most s k t h powers of natural numbers. For example, every natural number is the sum of at most 4 squares, 9 cubes, or 19 fourth powers. Waring's problem was proposed in 1770 by Edward Waring, after whom it is named. Its affirmative answer, known as the hilbert waring theorem, was provided by Hilbert in 1909. Waring's problem has its own mathematic subject classification, 11 po 5 Waring's problem and variance, relationship with Lagrange's four-square theorem. Long before Waring posed his problem, Diophantos had asked whether every positive integer could be represented as the sum of four perfect squares greater than or equal to zero. This question later became known as Batchett's conjecture, after the 1621 translation of Diophantus by Claude Gaspard Batchett to Meziriac, and it was solved by Joseph Louis Lagrange in his four-square theorem in 1770, the same year Waring made his conjecture. Waring sought to generalize this problem by trying to represent all positive integers as the sum of cubes, integers to the fourth power, and so forth, to show that any positive integer may be represented as the sum of other integers raised to a specific exponent and that there was always a maximum number of integers raised to a certain exponent required to represent all positive integers in this way. The number g, for every k, let g denote the minimum number s of kth powers needed to represent all integers. Every integer is the sum of one first power, itself, so g equals 1. Some simple computations show that 7 requires 4 squares, 23 requires 9 cubes, and 79 requires 19 fourth powers. These examples show that g4, g9, and g19. Waring conjectured that these values were in fact the best possible. Lagrange's four-square theorem of 1770 states that every natural number is the sum of at most four squares, since three squares are not enough. This theorem establishes g equals 4. Lagrange's four-square theorem was conjectured in Batchett's 1621 edition of Diophantus's Arithmetica. Fermat claimed to have a proof, but did not publish it. Over the years various bounds were established, using increasingly sophisticated and complex proof techniques. For example, Leoville showed that G is at most 53. Hardy and Littlewood showed that all sufficiently large numbers are the sum of at most 19 fourth powers. That G equals 9 was established from 1909 to 1912 by Wee and A. J. Kempner, G equals 19 in 1986 by R. Balasubramanian, Dress, and J. M. De Schoelis, G equals 37 in 1964 by Chen Jingruns, and G equals 73 in 1940 by Palai. Let X and X denote the integral and fractional part of X respectively. Since 2k, k, minus 1 less than 3k only 2k and 1k can be used to represent this number and the most economical representation requires k, minus 1 2 kiloseconds and 2k 1 1 kilosecond it follows that g is at least as large as 2k plus k, minus 2. J. A. Euler, the son of Leonhard Euler, conjectured about 1772 that, in fact, G equals 2K plus K minus 2. Later work by Dixon, Pillai, Rubagunde, Niven and many others have proved that G equals 2K plus K minus 2 if 2K K plus K 2K G equals 2K plus K plus K minus 2 if 2K K plus K greater than 2K and K K plus K plus K equals 2K G equals 2K plus K plus K minus 3 if 2K K plus K greater than 2K and K K plus K plus K greater than 2K. No values of K are known for which 2K K plus K greater than 2K.
Mahler has proved there can only be a finite number of such k and Cuba and Wunderlich have shown that any such k must satisfy k greater than 471,600,000. Thus it is conjectured that this never happens, i.e., that g equals 2k plus k minus 2 for each positive integer k. The first few values of g are 1, 4, 9, 19, 37, 73, 143, 279, 548, 1079, 2132, 4223, 8384, 16673, 33203, 66190. 90, 132,055. The number G. From the work of Hardy and Littlewood, the related quantity G was studied with G. G is defined to be the least positive integer S such that every sufficiently large integer can be represented as a sum of at most S K T H powers of positive integers. Since squares are congruent to 0, 1, or 4, no integer congruent to 7 can be represented as a sum of 3 squares, implying that g4. Since gg for all k, this shows that g equals 4. Davenport showed that g equals 16 in 1939. By demonstrating that any sufficiently large number congruent to 1 through 14 mod 16 could be written as a sum of 14 fourth powers. The exact value of g is unknown for any other k, but there exist bounds. Lower bounds for g the number g is greater than or equal to 2r plus 2 if k equals 2r with r2, or k equals 3 times 2r, pr plus 1 if p is a prime greater than 2 and k equals pr, 2 if p is a prime greater than 2 and k equals pr, 2, k plus 1 for all integers k greater than 1. In the absence of congruence restrictions, a density argument suggests that g should equal k plus 1. Upper bounds for gg is at least 4 for numbers less than 1.3 times 109, 1,290,740 is the last to require 6 cubes. And the number of numbers between n and 2n requiring 5 cubes drops off with increasing n its sufficient speed to have people believe g equals 4. The largest number now known not to be a sum of 4 cubes is 7,373,170,200,000. And the authors give reasonable arguments there that this may be the largest possible. The upper bound G7 is due to Linux in 1943. 13,792 is the largest number to require 17 fourth powers. 16 fourth powers are always needed to write a number of the form 3116N. The upper bounds on the right with K equals 5, 20 are due to Vaughan and Woolley. Using his improved Hardy-Littlewood method, M. Vinogradov published numerous refinements leading to in 1947 and, ultimately, for an unspecified constant C and sufficiently large K in 1959, applying his piadic form of the Hardy-Littlewood-Ramanujan-Vinogradov method to estimating trigonometric sums, in which the summation is taken over numbers with small prime divisors. Anatoly Alexevich Karatsuba obtained a new estimate of the Hardy function. Further refinements were obtained by Vaughan, 1989. Woolley then established that for some constant C, Vaughan and Woolley have written a comprehensive survey article.